Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I've been playing around with DTF tones and I believe I can come up with a way to get any repeater to have some DTF tone capability. Whether it's the Redivus RT97S or the Redivus RT97. I believe I can make an interface board, a DTF interface board, that will not need a computer for most of its functions, does not need internet for most of the functions, and I'll explain more about that in a minute. Now, if you're new to the radio world, radios that have a keypad, whether it's a handheld or a mobile, have a DTF function, meaning you press the PTT button, you punch in a code, and that usually does something at the repeater's end. The repeater's got to have that function. So let's say, for an example, if you end a code 100 does a repeater ID, you'd hold in the PTT button. As you're holding it in, you'd punch in 100, zero, zero, and it would trigger the repeater ID. Now, I have, and I'm going to show you a little demonstration here in a minute. This works even through Internet, like Zello or All-Star. Thanks again, Mark, out there for helping me test this through the Internet. We can remote control our repeater using the Internet. So let me show you an example here. This radio is the receive radio that's going to be receiving the DTF tones. This radio is programmed on my repeater. And my repeaters you can't see that. It's um, off camera. So that's what this radio is. My interface board is plugged into this. And I only have it do one function right now because before I go down this rabbit hole, I need to find out if people are interested in this, which brings me to the next point. If you are interested in something like this, I'm going to post a link in the description below. Make sure you go there and sign up. It's You sign up with your email uh, uh, address. That lets me know how many people are interested in this. If enough people are interested in this, then I will keep building the prototype. I will make videos as, as the build progress goes, as I do with most of my other uh, interface boards, and you get to see it you know, progress. But if not, not enough people are not interested, then I do not keep going down this rabbit hole. Then I go on to something else. So let me show you how this works. So this radio we're going to use to do the tones. This is going to receive it. My interface board's off camera, but you can see I have a light hooked up here, and that's why I left it kind of dark in the shop here. You can see this. When I press it and hold the PTT button in, and I press keypad 1, this light's going to turn on. And that light will stay on until I tell it to turn off. Now, to turn this light off, we're going to hold PTT button in, and we're going to hit number zero. Now it's off. So we can control any repeater can have this capabilities. You're probably thinking, okay, so you turned on a light. What's What else can we do with it? Well, that's the beauty of this. Let me show you a diagram. What I have in mind, what I have in mind is a DTF interface board I'll have four functions maybe more depending on the interests of people and depending on these functions here just a, a suggestion and if you have a suggestion for a particular function post in the comments below I may consider it but for this particular one I'm thinking of doing is on the keypad when you do number one it's going to play using an SD card a mp3 file that uh, that mp3 file could be a uh, repeater ID it could be an announcement it could be whatever you want it could be both you could you know, whatever number two keypad on the radio would play a different mp3 file so let's say number one is repeater ID in Morse code mp3 number two uh, is going to be a welcome type message to this repeater that just get to give you some ideas now, number three is quite interesting. Now, number three, you would need a computer and internet. Number three would play the current weather over your repeater. 
and date or time, and you can do an announcement after it's done saying the weather. Now, again, for the weather, you will need internet and a computer. The other functions, you do not need a computer, you do not need internet. Now, the user function would be a relay, and that would let you hook up any device you want to control remotely. A relay is like a switch. So if you want to turn on a fan, you can hook up a fan to that. If you want to hook up another interface board to do something else, you can hook that up to the relay. So that's what the functions I'm thinking of going with. Weather announcements, play an uh, MP3 file, and user can do its own thing. So, and this does work through the internet, like I said. Zello, All Star, to do remote control functions. It works quite well, actually. Thanks again, Mark, for helping me test this. Um, so, anyway, um, so that's what I have in my idea. Uh, again, if I, enough people are interested, I will keep uh, build a prototype. As I build it, I will show you functions, and we can go from there. So, again, any any functions you would like to see, please post them down in the comment section. Make sure if you're interested in this, go to my store to sign to get email. When it becomes available, that lets me know how many people are interested. If there's enough people interested, I will keep continuing. So there you have it. We'll work with any repeater. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.